This video is about Fubo TV's latest price hike, but it's actually about a lot more than that. I'm changing how I recommend this service starting today. First, those pricing details. And two weeks after announcing that Fubo TV would add the Bally Sports regional sports networks to all plans, Fubo TV increased the price for the pro and elite plans by $5 a month. So that means the starting price for Fubo TV has increased before it was $69.99 per month, and now it is $74.99 per month, and that's for the pro plan. The premier plan is also new, and it replaces the ultimate plan. These prices are already in effect for new customers, but existing customers will start to pay more in February 2023, according to emails sent out to subscribers. But unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. Unlike other live TV streaming services, Fubo TV charges regional sports fees in areas where it carries regional sports networks. And those fees are also changing. $10.99 per month if you have access to one RSN and $13.99 per month if you've got access to two or more RSNs. And this fee, not optional. If you live in an area with one or more RSNs, you're going to be charged that regional sports fee. But if you don't have an RSN in your area, you won't be charged. For years now, we've known a couple things about Fubo TV. First, it caters to sports fans, and second, it is not for price-sensitive customers. For people who want a premium live TV service, I typically recommend they start with a free trial of YouTube TV. It's my number one pick and the service I use most of the time. But for people who don't like YouTube TV and they're out there, you may have heard me suggest other services as alternatives, and I have included Fubo TV in that list in some cases. And now with Fubo TV increasing the price of the base plan and also those regional sports fees, I can give a more specific recommendation. Fubo TV is now a service for passionate sports fans, not casual fans. Only sign up for a Fubo TV plan with a regional sports fee if you plan to watch the RSNs that you're paying extra for. Because if you're paying 75 bucks a month for Fubo TV's base plan and then $14 a month on top of that for regional sports networks, that's almost $90 a month. And over 12 months, you'd be paying more than $1,000 for Fubo TV. So if you don't watch sports, particularly regional sports networks, you've got better options. I'd probably start with either YouTube TV or Hulu Live. And Sling TV is still a good option as long as you've got an antenna to pick up all of your local stations. If you're a Fubo TV customer, what are you planning to do after this price increase? Let me know down below in the comments, and I thank you for watching today.